Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 9 of the 1.19 Let's Play Hardcore series. We got a lot of stuff going on today. I'm up in a mangrove tree right now, and I just kind of fell into a divot right here. Something hilarious that I wanted to show you guys is just this down here. There's a lot of cows. They seem to be floating up in the vines. There's cows in these mangrove trees. I, I'm trying to get more mangrove wood up here, and these cows somehow made it up in here and thought it was a good idea to just make these mangrove trees their home. They're all up in the trees. It's like they grew on them. Now, I have been trading with one specific cartographer that has all the maps and some really cheap trades, but uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't find him, and uh, lo and behold, I, uh, I did find him, and guess what? He's up here. Why is he up here? I do not know. We have one we have two guys. We have a third guy all the way around in the back, I believe. There's... I don't know why they get up here. Oh my god. First, they go up this little spiral staircase. I'm unsure why they think this is a good idea. Then, when they reach the top, and they're going really high up here. Don't get me wrong. There's... This is so high up here. Look at this. This is insane. Johnny Stickman, why are you up here too? What is up? Why is everybody coming up here? We have our Fletcher up here. This is not good. Our cartographer was up here. He must have jumped right back down. Actually, I can't find him now, but now Johnny Stickboy's up here. And you, sir. Why, there you are. Why are you guys here? Why are you up here? Why are you not on the ground? Why are you up here? I'm gonna make my trades with you back here now, sir. Now we can officially get the Ocean Explorer map, the Woodland Explorer map, and we can get a multiple color banners and banner patterns, which is kind of nice. I, uh, I'm afraid to get these guys down. I don't know how far they've fallen to get here, so I want to make sure that they have a nice soft landing, or I could just build a staircase for them to get down. All right, guys, be afraid no more. Let's take you down here, and uh, maybe next time just think about what you're doing before you do it. Come down! He's done. Okay, all right. Well, he, he decided not to use the staircase, but he's, he's here anyway. Yes! Use the staircase! Let's go! Also, something I wanted to mention is now we can buy name tags from our paper trader. We got this guy right here. We just got two name tags. Oh, we only got two. That's fine, but this is plenty. We can actually name the cats, and we can name the dogs in our village. And not to mention, we can name uh, villagers after everybody on stream. I actually have a redemption for the channel points that you can use and by the way it's twitch.tv slash wax fraud i do stream every day feel free to come by anytime but yeah i'm gonna start naming uh villagers after people if they would like that as far as the cats and dogs go i am i know i already asked everybody to name the dogs and cats back in like episode one and in, in a previous episode but i didn't have any name tags till right now so I'm going to take my favorite dog name and my favorite cat name, and I'm going to name the cats and dogs uh, those names that you guys put in the comment section. So feel free to comment down below. Something I forgot to do. Oh, man, this is... I forgot about this party. This is just a party over here. We got six, six occupied boat stations. This is nice. But we do have uh, Cartography Center. Gone. You're gone. And now we only have... Uh, we have eight goals left. Yo, and we got turtles chilling here now. I love this. There's turtles even on this side of the map. This is amazing. He really just be trying to ruin the carrot farm. Please, sir, don't be doing that. Now, since we have this nice cartography center here, we have an open area in between our starter house, our enchanting center, and also the barn. And so I decided we're probably going to have to put some lights in on the path, kind of like how we did down there. We do have some lights over there as well. We'll probably just put one, you know, right here in the middle. Um, we'll go up. Like Usually I just do them like stone, three fences, two trap doors, and one light. They're pretty simple. Put some benches over here too, but... The next thing I wanted to do, I actually really did want to build a well, and I do have a tutorial for this well design, but I, I don't know if I wanted to go over here. Probably just going to go ahead and put it right in front of the home, but uh, these are actually super easy to build. These are one of my favorite little things to build, and not only are they simple, but they really do just bring a little town together, like these along with some fountains and just some like, you know, just water like spouting out from the ground and water falling from the well. It just makes the town seem more alive, and I don't know, it just it brings more life into it, definitely. Put a stair here, and put a stair here, bada bing, and bada boom. We got so many stair placements. Get some trap door action up at the tippy top. We can go down. We're going to put some lanterns here. Of course, we never stop putting the lanterns in. This guy, my dude, you're going to want to get out of the well. I'm about to put water in there. You can go ahead and hang a chain from the bottom into the ground to make it seem like it's pulling water out. And then we'll go ahead and just start putting water in. I completely forgot to put two potted plants here on the back porch of my starter house, and nobody ever called me out on it. I'm actually pretty surprised. Uh, even on stream, no one called me out. But 
what we're gonna do here before we forget anything I, I i do this is something i've been meaning to do oh yeah and by the way we did build a mini dock right here to start the decoration of this little pond area i don't know i hope i hope it's all right it's pretty simple super simple it's actually probably the smallest dock i've ever built but uh it works it works we're definitely going to take this boat we're gonna go out i'm gonna go back to where we spawned or near it at least get some sea pickles and coral Walking back there, look at that old desert village, looks good, and uh, look at this. And now that we actually have kind of OP armor, I feel like we can just run up on these guys. Let's go ahead and just run around the back. I'm just going to run right through them. They can't really shoot you if you just dodge them, like, all at once. They are pretty, uh, they're pretty not, they're not very coordinated. Like, look at that. Not the most coordinated group of people. Let's see what you guys got. Oh, a goat horn, dude. I've never had a goat horn. Let's go. I don't. I honestly don't even know what to do with it. I'm gonna have to look up what to do with this. Totally went past the bottle of enchanting and a dark oak log that we now finally have, which is kind of good. You know what? I might as well take this other stuff. Crossbow. We. Might, you know what? We don't need that. Sorry, guys. I had to take your stuff. See you later. I'll come back. I promise. I'll come back and I'll bring. I'll bring food. I'll bring candy. Okie dokie. You can see all the sea pickles from here. Let's go. Okay. So, ooh, that looks nice. We have ourselves a coral reef. I'm coming in here with these. Wait, which one of these is silk touch? Let's get the fortune out of there. Come in here with the silk touch, and uh, yeah, I I want all of these. I also want these horn corals. I want everything that I can get. We're gonna take it all. We're gonna come in here. We're basically just gonna decimate this. Probably gonna take a couple. I mean, at least a couple inventory stacks worth. Like, we're going to fill up our inventory a couple times because how, how else are we going to make a custom coral reef later on in this series? Man, this is real. This is actually beautiful, though. If you guys don't have complimentary shaders turned on or at least any shaders, just go, please, please give them a try. Like, look at this. Look at what I'm looking at. This beautiful coral landscape. This is amazing. Collecting the last of whatever remains here. Yeah, we have, a, we have a pretty full inventory, and whatever's in the chest in this boat is in here, too. But unfortunately, it's not a shulker box, so we have to take the boat with us. I do believe there is... Once we get all this, I think we got most of what we can take. I do believe that this little path over here actually connects over to where our house is. So I'm going to see if I can ride this all the way back home. Also, I was taking out the coral reef on stream, and I did find out via stream members in chat that you can do this with the horn. Yeah, that's a big sound. That's a big sound right there. Now, by the looks of it, I do think we should be rolling up back home very, very soon. The savannah's looking very familiar. Um, if uh, maybe I should just increase the chunks that are the, like the render distance, but oh, yep, that's a mangrove tree in the water. That means we have an observatory popping up right there. That's what I'm talking about. We are officially home. That's crazy. That means where we spawned connects with the water all the way to where we walked to so that this ocean is huge that means this ocean is enormous now that we're back home i do want to show you guys we did fix up a little bit of this area we planted some trees we got some birch trees we got some oak trees and azalea trees and we even got acacia trees over here now this is our first acacia tree over here that we planted we even got another one right over here they're gonna start popping up we're gonna make our way back upstairs to the enchanting room because we got a few things we need to do. Finally, we're gonna get blast protection for on our chest plate. It needs to happen. And then also, I don't know if you noticed, but we have an OP sword that's about to be even more OP. We have all the enchantments, knockback two, unbreaking three, sharpness five, fire aspect two, sweeping edge three, mending, and looting three. That's gonna be basically everything that I like on my swords. Last thing we need to do to this sword is make it netherite. Oh my god, I only I don't know, I only need the one. There we go. We are A-OK. -okay. We're good to go. This is perfect. Good thing we got Jonathan Stickman over here to uh, buy some sticks from us so we can get some quick levels. A-OK -okay with me. Thank you, buddy. I will be making more cows, please. More cows coming right up. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on here, dude? This is insane. This is actually insanity. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I could, <laughs> I, could, I could sit here and watch this all day. One last final addition hold on is that gonna cost last right here no it is not one last final addition to the netherite playlist here we got everything on this shovel we're gonna put it back down here to the smithing table we gotta go bada bang and bada boom and boom we now have a full netherite set let's 
go. Now, this is where some of the fun begins. We're gonna actually hop in here. I'll grab, you know, let's just grab one of each of these. We'll grab one of each of these as well. I mean, dude, these are, we have so much, we have so much coral to choose from. Uh, we're also gonna take some sea pickles if we can. Let's just take, actually, you know what? Let's just take all three stacks of those because we're gonna have to put them down. I'll probably need the shovel out. We have plenty of room down here. Oh, I love this. This is gonna be so fun. We're gonna spend a lot of time doing this. I might spend a stream or two uh, doing this. I know I did make a long play in the other hardcore world, but I think I'm just gonna do a lot of this live because you can, I, I, it, it, coral's amazing. I, it just gets me tripped up with words. I get excited. We can literally make coral look however we want. Look at this, this is awesome. We can make it have a leg right here too. And then we can have it come around like this and it's, it's just absolutely bonkers. And then you can put anything you want on it. You can put sea pickles on it, you can put sea pickles on the ground. We're probably gonna end up bone mealing a lot of this stuff around here and uh, adding a lot more color to this as well because we can add the pink, we can add the magenta over here too. We'll have one sticking out. I'm not sure how far we're gonna go over here because we do need to swim up on the other side. And uh, I want to put some more of these in that lake over there as well. Placing some tube corals around on the ocean floor. And uh, we're going to kick it back just a tad bit. It starts to look nice once you randomize all of these little coral towers. And start to put the little tube coral fans everywhere. Not the fans, but the tube corals themselves. The horn coral looks pretty nice if you start to put it all the way out here. I don't want to put too much yellow out here, but... The kelp starts to get a little bit crowded too when you take a step back, so I've been taking a little bit out. We can put some bubble coral down on here. We can also put it over here, and we also would like to put it right there. Now, we were running out of sea pickles, and oh, what's up, my dudes? They are, they're conspiring against the, okay, yeah, they're definitely conspiring. But uh, yeah, we made a little bit of a sea pickle shrine here. It's, it's kind of cool. You can get in there from all four angles over here. It's not the same thing as what I did in a tutorial. But it does look pretty nice. I, I would have to say we did this on stream and yeah, we have a lot of sea pickles in here. We can take everything out. If you guys don't know how sea pickle farms work, I can show you. You literally just put nine coral blocks in um, or you can put in more if you'd like. I'm not really sure if they go four out, but I just wanted to make this look as nice as possible. Then you just kind of bone meal this up. We are going to jump back in here. There's a couple spots that don't have enough lighting like so and then over here as well i want to get on top of all the coral and see what is oh god we have dolphins grace okay but yeah i wanted to see what is darker um and you know there's a lot of like, areas over here that are not as lit up as the others so i wanted to go over here and make sure everything's lit up because we are going to have a, a, a build it's going to be right about in this area wow we got over here really fast and now i have to swim all the way back I also have some tropical fish that we wanted to lay down in here. I'm going to lay them right over here so that they are close. These guys are looking good. Hey, you guys can call this place home. Yeah, running along, we have been, uh, you know, getting this sugar cane in an unconventional way for a while. This is very inefficient, so here's what I wanted to do. We have a build. I want to build a boat on the water, a big old steamboat. So I thought, why not mix a sugar cane farm and put it out on the water and put it into a steamboat? Man, there are always turtles in the boat. Okay, so let's uh, let's get that. Oh, I actually don't have enough room. Hold on a second. Let's get the boat out. Let's go here. I actually could put more stuff in the boat if I wanted to, but what I want to do is actually build a bigger boat all the way out here. Oh, that looks nice from all the way up above. We spent about three hours total building this, and it takes a while to decorate this and make it look, I don't know, just like nice and natural, but... Uh, yeah, it, it takes a little bit longer than I thought, so it's going to take a couple of streams to make it all look nice, because I want it to go all the way back in here. Don't mind the little spruce tree platform that we have going on. That turtle over there seems to be loving it. Yeah, I kind of wanted to start building in this direction over here. I might just build up. This is probably where I'll start platforming in this area of the ocean. I might just make this like the bottom floor of the boat. I might have to go a little, a little bit below the water just because, you know, like a redstone farm, like I'm going to have the grass probably right here. I'll put some minecart with some hoppers right here below that so that they can catch all of the sugar cane. We'll, we'll see how this actually is going to be the biggest steamboat that I've ever built. So I'm probably going to put the sugarcane redstone contraption up on this platform and then we'll probably have to just build around it. Got all the water we need. I believe we can just put it right there. It'll go all the way to the end. That's absolutely perfect. And now we can just put all of the sugar cane here that we want to. Now I just need to put the minecart and hopper under here to go back and forth. And actually, let's get the pistons and observers on there too. Man, we are really getting into the... Oh, can't get that. Getting into the nitty gritty down here though with this uh, these powered rails. And okay, we need to get that there. We get this over here. Wait, this over here. Bam, we're gonna get all these down. 
place and this guy on it should be working all right come back to here sir get out yeah that's what i'm talking about all these hoppers are going to be going into this chest which i'll probably make make and go into a chest in the middle i need to just do the same thing on the other side now i feel like this guy is just always in the way he's just he's always here when when we don't need him and he's always selling things that i don't need I'm gonna put the last of the observers here. You got the classic setup for the sugarcane farm. There's a lot of tutorials you can look up for a sugarcane farm. I myself do not have one. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this up here too. But in order to make sure that it works, let's go bam, bam, and oh yeah. Okay, so that does work. Let's put the glowstone up. We officially have a all the way done sugarcane farm. Now we just have to kind of close it off. I'll probably put a lot more mangrove wood around the outside, and then we're gonna put wheels just like how we have at the bottom right here these exact wheels we're gonna put four of them on each side and you know this is this seems to be done let's cover this up with the glass and i don't think the sugar cane will be able you know what let me try this real quick we go bam will it grow onto here if we go bam yes okay i just wanted to make sure we also need to start now bringing up the front of this boat we need like we need a place to put a mast we need a uh we need basically just a bunch of room to hang out on the front here we need a place to put a chest like uh we can put a bed over here on the front i don't know if we have a lot of room to keep the bed in here we have i might keep this desk decorated but for now i'm just gonna plan on making the hangout area at the front and what is this guy doing down there i see you it's a little difficult getting these spokes spaced out. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe that is what we're going to do because when you're making these wheels, you're going to go all the way around like this. We put one on the top too. And I'm going with the oak trap doors and oak stairs route. I want to kind of want a little bit of oak on the outside. So we're going to go here. We'll go here. I I think this this actually might be too far apart now that I'm thinking about it. Oh my gosh. And I just put all these in the wrong spot here hold on a second we go there oh yeah these are way too far apart so now that we know we can go bam bam we'll probably have to get the next one over here we got that one there okay so i actually have to move it over to this one i think oak mangrove and deep slate might be my new favorite color combo it is absolute oh my gosh i have been just messing this up but it's absolutely just my favorite this is it's so cool like you can put this around here and this around here i just love how much it pops right there it's it's really nice we're probably gonna have to actually stick one more out right there we'll go boom and uh, we're gonna build this one in i think that is good enough we'll go right there we'll go boom that is just far enough because if these go out yep those don't this, those can't touch each other now that is good now i want two more in the back but i don't know if i want them equally spaced just like how we have these i might do the same i might like space it out by one or two blocks back here so we'll go one two three four right here one two three four i might do another one right here we need to cover up all this redstone somehow so we're gonna get i need to can i get there we go let's flip all this up you guys can probably see all the observatory actually that's kind of cool we can see the observers from the backside here if you really focus on it i mean it'll it's about to be covered up by what we put in for the roof anyways but i think this could be kind of cool now these are looking great nice and spaced apart but the one thing is if we swim over here we can see that the back side is uh it's a little short so we're gonna have to start building over here make it seem a little bit longer we'll probably have to build out here a little bit too and uh yeah this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge but it'll be fun now it's time to start on the roof here we're gonna outline it with the deep slate tiles and then we'll go through and put a little bit of the deep slate bricks up in here too but uh for right now we're just gonna outline it with what we're mostly putting up here and that's the deep slate tile we'll go out just a little bit and then we're gonna go slabbage cabbage all the way up i i mean usually with these steamboat designs we don't go too far like we don't want to go too high up it starts to look a little bit wonky so once we get to the middle we can then stare it up we're gonna put our first lantern on the build and that's gonna be right there that's absolutely perfect we can start doing the same thing over here and okay that's that's just wrong don't be doing that but uh we'll go back all the way up and then we do need to cover this redstone up also all right this is uh this is starting to look like a barn and actually i did just hear it go off so i want to see what we got here yo this is actually starting to pick up we got a lot of sugarcane already at least one stack between the both of them but yeah now that we have that front side taken care of i really do want to work on bringing this front side out so i'm probably just going to continue with this i really like this outside here um, i also want to think about maybe replacing these with just the texturized look of whatever like 
the mangrove stripped log would be over here. I feel like that is kind of nice. I do need to replace that. That was wrong. Don't be doing that. And then continue putting these stairs around the sides that will turn into slabs, but then you can back it up with these trap doors on the side, which make it, which make it seem like a little door. And I kind of wanted to, oops, that was wrong, but I wanted to do that as well. You can get on just like this. And uh, if we can make walls, we can go bing, bang, boom. We can go doo doo, and we can hang a lantern from there. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. We'll hang a lantern from here. Bing, bang, boom. We're going to go boom, boom. And then actually just from this side, we might just hang another lantern because that is getting a little close. We might just do that. Nope, that was wrong. We need to take that down. We will get this here and we'll hang a lantern. See, now everything's starting to come together. We can start to bring this out just a little bit further. I'll probably end up raising this a little bit if we can turn some of this into slabs that'll be really nice let's bring oh that was that's not slabs those are trap doors let's take some slabs out if we can just kind of start to build this up right here i might just leave that middle open or we can just do this that way we start to gradually go up i might do this as well that way there's a little bit of hangout room there but yeah we might just need to gradually take this whole thing up until we reach a front where we can put a little bit of a flag we do have johnny stickman who can actually sell us some nice new white banners that can actually go on this boat and those banners that go on the mast up here start to look really nice the mast is probably gonna start right about here and we'll bring it to the top with some gates put some banners on it we are just we're stacking for days man this is uh i mean it's always nice to see it's always so satisfying like when it gradually goes up by the slab it's also with the stairs that it, where, it, where it looks nice, but man, it's so satisfying just to gradually build up. And voila, that is gonna be it for now. I might add some trap doors to the side over here just so that, I don't know, just so that we can have a little bit of, uh, I don't know if that looks good. We might have to add more over here. Yeah, that it's, it's a little awkward. I might end up bringing this up a little bit more as well, so we can go over there. But yeah, this is what the front of the boat is most likely going to look like. I can put some chests around here. We'll go bam, we'll go bam, and now I'm probably going to end up putting my bed out here too. Can I grab that? Wow, that was loud. I'm going to grab this. We can put the bed out here. This is a good area to sleep, and uh, yeah, I mean, this is looking good so far. We're going to cozy up this side. We need to get some gates probably gonna put more of this in here actually you know what i'm gonna take this out we might be able to put some chains up in here too let's try this and uh, let's see how we can get this decorated fences over here we're gonna do the typical balcony decoration over on this side of the boat and uh i mean it's nothing too special we can probably get some nice window sills up in here and we have the windows pretty much fully decorated with a little bit of azalea right there probably should put some bushes some leaves right above the composters not too bad i put the bed in the boat like this we have some barrels for storage if we need some a little bit of decoration for underside of the boat here coming around the side as well we want to add a little bit of plant oh gosh we want to add a little bit of plant action over here i did also add some trapdoors right here but i figured out that we can't put them there because the redstone every time it's activated it turns these trapdoors up so if i go over here the same thing like they they just keep pointing up couple barrels on the deck never hurt nobody the back of the boat is looking decent someone on stream actually recommended the uh, lantern hanging off the back of the boat like this and I actually do really like that I'm only thinking now I just really would like to oh we need to grab the court stairs I brought these out here I want to make a couch uh, that kind of stands out so like it just seems like you can chill back here and that I feel like that quartz stairs it fits in well back here and I think that's good enough except for maybe we would want to close this off right here just to make it seem like it's it's holding its own weight and boom that's not too bad i hope you guys like the deck i mean i hope it's not like too repetitive this and it seems like there's enough room back here to be chilling you can jump off boom got the end of the boat and walking into the interior now i wanted to decorate the sides here so we're basically we're going to take all the blocks that we've been using and just keep the pallet going do i have any stairs i do have some stairs perfect let's oop that that's the wrong way i have been doing that a lot lately and that that thing's going crazy let's put you in the right spot we can get an azalea up there boom we we're, we're decorative we're decorative let's get one over here over here oh you know what i completely forgot to do that on the other side let's pop up here real quick so 
you can see on this side I did do moss and a lot of glowstone just to just to you know just to light up the place and I put I chose moss at the top just because I thought it would it, it looked nice above the green sugar cane just having like a little bit of green right above it and the glowstone really pops like e even almost too much so that's why I did decide to do a little bit of decorating here so I'll take some I actually have a lot of stairs this is perfect okay so I have some oak trap doors that I'll have to use if I have enough I have the mangrove trap doors. Okay, so I wanted to go every other one with the stairs here. Oh, man, I'm falling. Let's go back up. I wanted to go every other one with the stairs, and I wanted to put some oak trap doors in here to see if that would look good. And then I wanted to use the mangrove trap doors right there, and I think that might dim it down a little bit. Uh, or at least I'm hoping so. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. I think we should get some lighting down below. I completely forgot to fix that up, and we should... We should connect that. We can make this look a little bit nicer up here. We'll go bing. You know what? Maybe we can't. Or we can just go there. We can go bam. What is that? Four? That's fine. We'll just do this right here. We can also place some chains and some lights down here for the doorway. I think now, now this place is well lit enough. If it already wasn't lit up enough from the glowstone, we have a lot of hanging lanterns. And I think it might be missing one more thing. And some water might spill out, but I wanted to get some couches up in here if possible. So we're going to just do one, two. Okay, this, yep, this is going to be a little weird for now. Boom, boom. And we can even just go boom over here. We'll make the couch go like this. And no water. Perfect. Okay, so if we do that on both sides and if we also get more plants up in here, like, oh, we have propagules. We got bamboos. We can go one. We can go two. We can go three, we can go four, and we officially have plants. We're also going to pop... Oh, that was wrong. Don't be doing that. We're also just going to pop this guy right here so we can see down there. Oh, this is, this is absolutely beautiful. Now time for the mast. I'm not sure how tall we want this to go. I do believe... Yeah, we might want it to go a little bit taller than that. Hold on a second there, buddy. You don't want to be there. We might just go up right here. Let's just start it off. Uh, so if you want to do a good mast, I've shown this in the other hardcore series, but I might as well show it here. We also actually did a long play as well. I forgot about that, except our mast last time was... Oh, and I'm falling. That's uh, that's awful. I put all my scaffolding back. Why would I do that? There we go. That That's more like it. That's, that's what we want to see around here. Let's get to the top of this. We can jump back on. That's That's super unfortunate. Why? Why does this happen to me? Yeah, we were going three wide on the last two little steamboats that we had made, but now we're going four wide, as you can see here. I'm still going to go with the oak trapdoors on top, just for walking across here, and it just makes it look like it can hold the banners, and that's what's going to go across here. We had to get... Oh man, I actually should have not put these up until I placed the gates down. It's okay, we'll put that down uh, as soon as we place all of these. We're going to do the same thing up one more, so I'll probably go up like this, two, three... We have one, two, three here, and then we'll go like there. Same thing with the gates, because we want the banners to kind of... I might even have to go down just by one more. This one might be a little bit too tall, but this is a bigger steamboat than normal, so I'm, I'm not used to this, these, like, proportions. Yeah, this right here, see, we're... Yeah, it's like two blocks tall. We, we're going we're gonna to move this down by just one. We're going to go ahead and put that right there. Can I land on this? Perfect. Yeah, then we'll... Oh, I'm just, I literally, I'm placing everything wrong today. Why am I doing that? Bing, bang, boom, and bop. Okay, so that should be good. Let's break these and we'll break. Oh, I should not be falling, breaking my ankles so much. I am just abusing the feather falling on my boots. Let's jump off the front and, okay, so what does this look like behind us? Let's take a swim. Not bad, dude. Not bad at all. I actually, you know what? I'm liking this. That's that's not looking too bad. This front area badly needs to be decorated, so I am here to hopefully save the day. I'm going to put flower pots everywhere. We can line this up. More propagules, more. We should get some blue orchids on here, too. Uh, we're going to get... Let's get a lectern up here to lead... Actually, you know what, lectern? It, you go higher up. This will be... That'll be fun. We can get a barrel over here, barrel over there, and let's get some hay bales on here, too. Like, this is this is going to be the way to go. We'll put... You know what? We'll put that right there, just because... It's a little bit stacked up. Or, we, you know what? We'll put it over there. We just need to we need to get this boat pumped full of life. We'll even put a composter over there. And uh, you know what? We'll make it look like it's a full composter. I wonder if, how many can 13 do? Fill it up. Ooh, perfect. And then 
Why are there always turtles in the boat, man? I feel like, you know what? I feel like we should just take this back. Where's the axe? Let's put this here. There's always turtles in the boat. Get out safely there, guy. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. We are here to get some color up in here. So let's go orchid. Let's get, you know, orchid up at the front. Let's get an orchid over here. Acacia sapling never hurt nobody. Let's get some of this, some of that. Some of this, that's perfect. You know what? Amethyst cluster never hurt anybody either. I thought it would be interesting. Let's go ahead and put a gate. I've never tried a light up at the front here. So uh, let's do trap doors right there. And then we'll get the lantern. Hey, you know what? That's, uh, that's not too bad. Jumping off here. Boom, boom. Get in the boat. Let's take a look behind us. That, my friends, is a sugarcane steamboat. I think we done did it. I think we done did it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for joining on the live streams during the build and during this, like, in between the episodes here, like the 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75. Really do appreciate y'all for stopping by the Twitch streams. And thank you to everyone who is a patron. We have 25 patrons now, so thank you guys. That's that's crazy. Thank you so much. Everyone's name at the end of the videos here. That's that's to the people that are in the Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Thank you all so much. And thanks to everybody that's in the Discord. The, all the links for all these are down below, so thanks everybody for joining the Discord as well. And, you know, just take care of yourselves, guys, and do something nice for someone i'll see you guys next episode for episode 10 we are going to be uh, you know we're going to be going back to the nether for some certain shenanigans and uh, you know i'll see you guys there bye